what is up y'all welcome back to my channel and another video it's your girl Brie here as you can tell by the title of this video this is going to be my current favorites what I'm obsessed with what I'm loving for all these things I've been loving for at the very least the past couple of weeks to a month but most of these things have been my running favorites for like months consecutively. Since I have quite a few favorites in a lot of different categories, I don't want to speak too long on everything, so we'll try to make this video as short as I can. But again, that's that's no promises the way I ramble. I'm a talker. I like to talk. I'm a chit-chat chatty girl. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for joining me today. To have you guys sit down and watch a video of mine uh, just means the world to me. So I thank you guys in advance for watching this video. Let's get into the favorites. Okay, I've already categorized all these things. Thank goodness I planned. Um, so we're going to start with the different restaurants and food places that I've been loving. Obviously, a lot of this is centralized to being in Austin, Texas. Shout out ATX. But I definitely suggest that if you are traveling to Austin or you live in Austin, you need to check out these places if you don't already go to them or you're not already familiar. Okay, spot number one that I'm obsessed with is Hawaiian Bros. And I don't even live that close to Hawaiian Bros, guys. I probably have to drive at the minimum like 20-ish minutes with low traffic like middle of the day to get to Hawaiian Bros. But obviously as the name sounds, it's Hawaiian food. So I go for their huli huli chicken, nice big plate with rice, and then it comes with two sides, their macaroni salad, which I'm like, I'm eh about, but I'll take it. And then I'll also get two of their spam masubis. They're like $2.50, so I'm like, yeah, give me some spam masubi. And then to finish off my order, the very last thing that I order is a pineapple dole whip. Yes, you heard that right. The Disney World Disneyland favorite is available at Hawaiian Bros, and they sell it in both pineapple strawberry or a pineapple strawberry swirl. I'm gonna pause one more time for the effect of that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. When I found out that this place existed while going to the skate park down in San Marcos, I was blown away. So when I have some time, I'm definitely like, you know what, I'm making the drive. I'm going to Hawaiian Bros and I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Okay, my next obsession is Bahama Bucks. Now, Bahama Bucks is a snow cone place here. If you guys do not know, I'm originally from New Orleans, which means that I am a connoisseur of snow cones specifically snowballs as we would refer to them back home. There's a very specific ice shaving method that we do back home. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased, but I had not had one with a similar texture until I went to Bahama Bucks. The combinations that I either do are bubblegum and cotton candy, or I get like strawberry and wedding cake. Also, while we're talking about desserts, I have been obsessing over Delights, which is a low carb, frozen yogurt place that we have here in Austin and pretty much any fitness girly or guy in the Austin area, you are gonna hear them talk about delights because it's a it's amazing. They change the flavors every single day and they put out their weekly schedule at the beginning of the week. That's like my little hangout spot with my fitness girlies, specifically Mia. Mia and I go there quite frequently for our little hangouts. If you're in Austin, you definitely need to check out delights. You might also get to see one of your favorite content creators there. Last place that I want to shout out is Planet Smoothie. Now, Planet Smoothie is my new favorite smoothie spot. It's close to my job. I actually get to walk there and I'm obsessed. Recently, I've been getting their, it's called It's Lime Time. It's one of their summer limited edition drinks. It's a strawberry lemonade with coconut water. It has acai in it or no, I think the one I get has dragon fruit it comes out super purpley. And then I just do my little like supplement add-ins that I always do. So I don't add protein to that because it doesn't mix well with the lime juice, but I do typically add like energy or creatine and stuff like that to it. Okay, on to my fitness wellness obsessions recently. So these could be things like supplements or equipment, things like that. Okay, the first thing that I have to shout out is my pre-workout. So I am a powders girly. Okay, so this isn't the only flavor of powders that I have. I have this one, which is blue frostbite. And then I also have the pink lemonade and I just got in the mail my dream sickle, my orange dessert. So I'm extremely excited about that. I'm obsessed with powders. It's the only pre-workout that you'll find me using. I also am a powders affiliate. I also support local. Uh, they are based in Dallas, Texas. And being a Texas girly now, I live to not only support a creator that I really admire, but I also want to support local brand. One of the best things about this pre-workout is that it's as natural as you can get. So it's not gonna have artificial dyes or colors, no artificial flavors. It's just the good stuff. It's third-party tested 
all of the sort and they work really hard to produce this product. I love it. Well, it doesn't give me like the intense tingles that I used to get from other pre-workouts that honestly made my heart feel berserk. I really enjoy using this stuff, so. Yeah, if you would like to try powders, I will leave my discount link below, but you can always use code LUNARBABY at checkout for 10% off your order. While we're here talking about energy, I might as well also shout out my Alani New. I'm obsessed with Alani New. The Cherry Slush is one of my top favorites, as well as Bomb Pop and then Dream Sickle and what's another one? What would I say? Witch's Brew. Witch's Brew has always been an all-time fave, but obviously that's seasonal. But Alani New is like my go-to energy drink if I'm not gonna have my pre-workout. And obviously I don't double up on my caffeine in a day, that's just too much. And I've really been trying to have my caffeine earlier and earlier, but at least, what is it, 90 minutes after I wake up, I have listened to that from, I think, the Huberman Lab podcast. So I try to wait at least 90 minutes after I wake up and then I have my caffeine. It'll either be this or I'll wait until my workout and then have my powders. But since I'm working out a little bit later in the day today, I opted for just a line new. I had my last Kim aid flavor, which is the Kim Kardashian collaboration. If you guys haven't tried that, I did put a taste test on my TikTok. You guys should go check that out or check your local stores if you can find it. Cause I know it's sold out online. I don't know if by the time this video is up, it will have put more out in store, but yeah, definitely go try that flavor if you can. And the last thing that I want to shout out in this category is liquid IV. I would show you guys one of my packets, but I definitely used my last one earlier, but Liquid IV is an electrolyte packet little solution. And I put it in my water. I make my, what I call muddy water. And that's just my Liquid IV. I put in my greens, sometimes collagen, and I call it a day. I particularly like to use greens as just like a ritual for me. And it's just like extra nutrients, but I'd say still prioritize obviously getting good green vegetables in your diet. Don't just depend on a powder, but for me, it's just very much a part of my morning. And I like that I also get in my electrolytes, especially this summer, it's hot guys. Water is just not gonna cut it if you're sweating out all of your electrolytes. Let's move into the clothing that I've been loving recently. Two of these things are definitely coordinated with my new Texas Yeehaw Girl spirit. The first thing, of course, is a pair of cowboy boots. Now, if you know me, you know I have a gorgeous pair of red cowboy boots that I thrifted a couple of years ago, but the traction on those are a no-go. I just literally cannot use them anymore. Well, I do, but they're just not proper for every function. So I did go and pick myself up a pair of boots from Boot Barn, um, these are by the brand Cheyenne. They were on sale, I think at like 179. I'm obsessed with them. I like that they have that slightly worn kind of look along the edges. I only wore them once so far and that was to the Willie Nelson 4th of July picnic and I was really breaking them in. They're gonna be in my closet forever. I'm already obsessed with them so I had to shout them out. So the next thing, sorry that these are a little wrinkled but I just pulled them straight from my closet and these are a pair of bell bottoms that I got that are slightly distressed. I picked them up also while I was at Boot Barn, but at a different time. And guys, my muscle mommies with thick, thick glutes, this is the place to shop for jeans, honestly, and I feel like they're so flattering. I love how they make me look. These actually happen to be by the same brand that my boots are by. I did not plan that. Wow, I will be standing this brand and I will be shopping at Boot Bar more. The last clothing item that I wanna talk about is this strappy black bra that I got. And I got this one from Amazon actually, and I picked it up because I wanted more tiny strappy tops for back day because my back gains had been Chef's mother <laughs> kiss, guys, honestly. So I was really obsessed when I put on this top. Like guys, the pump, the pump looks immaculate in this top. So this has definitely been one of my faves and I'm gonna keep it out as long as it's hot. And I have a feeling that it's gonna be hot for a long freaking time. Okay, let's go into like my skin, body care kind of stuff. The first thing that I wanna talk about, my native deodorant. These are just two of the scents that I have. I promise you, I have way too much native. I just don't know why I can't stop picking them up when I'm in the store. I do know, it's, the scents are enticing, guys. So the ones that I just wanted to pick out for you guys, cause I know they're in my top of the top tier scents, are the Sour Belts one, the Blue Raspberry Sour Belts. And, and the Yule Log scent. Now this one obviously was a Christmas holiday 
limited edition scent and this one makes you smell like a Christmas tree. I cannot wait for the holidays to come around again. I hope they bring this one back. Absolutely love this one. And then of course, sour belts. I also do pick up the body washes as well. I just ran out of the body wash for the blue sour belts but I still have. I still have one of the holiday scents in a body wash. I think like mistletoe like scent. I'll put it on the screen after I look at it but I just I can't think off the top of my head. But I'm absolutely obsessed with Native. I actually need to peep the website to see if there's some scents that I've been missing because my local Target hasn't been stocking them because I've been seeing the same things recently. I want to see if there's some new collapse, something out that I'm missing. The next thing is sun care. Now, it is so important. In the last year or so, I think I really recognized it and taken it upon myself to be better about how I treat my skin in the sun. And just because I have a melanated skin, that does not mean that I get to walk out in the sun however I please. It is still attacking me. Girl, put some freaking sunscreen on your face and your body. Yeah, I was reached out to a while ago by Everyday Humans, but now, yeah, they got me. I have repurchased their stuff multiple times now. So my absolute favorite is their Resting Beach Face. This is their face sunscreen. This one's already almost out. I'm gonna have to pick up a third tube. Luckily they sell it in Target. Target, Amazon, and obviously their own site, but I'm gonna have to pick up a new tube of this. I use like three or four pumps and I reapply halfway through the day typically, especially after my workout because I've sweat. And then this is the Oh My Bod, and this is obviously for the body, but I did just get in the mail. I haven't opened the package yet, but I did just get their new spray sunscreen. All right, everyday humans coming out with new stuff. I'm here for it. They're truly my favorite. I love the packaging. There's something about like, I don't know, the kind of like pop arty feel of it. And I love the colors. They're just like this nice spring, summery pastels. This looks like watermelon together. Everyday humans truly has my heart. Next of my favorites is one of my scents from Scentbox. I tried Scentbox because it just popped up on Google when I was looking for fragrance subscriptions. And I've been thoroughly impressed with it so far. I'm about to get my third month's box, but this one is from my first box and I'm already out of it. I'm gonna have to purchase a full bottle and that's the scent Fever by Jimmy Choo. Oh my gosh, guys. This scent is just something I don't even, I, it's both floral and a little bit of musky, but I'd say it's just so delicate and nice and it's just, this is something worthy of being a signature scent. So I'm definitely gonna have to pick up a full bottle. I was looking, it's about 72 bucks. Definitely on the end of like mid-range luxury fragrances, but I definitely think this would be worth it. I rarely get full bottles of fragrances, but I'm trying to branch out. And I think this was the perfect place to start. Okay, and the last thing in this section is going to be my Donna's recipe. This is my hair cream and it's sweet potato scented. As you can see, this is empty, completely empty. I've already repurchased a new jar and it's on my counter, but wow, I rarely do this with product, I'm being honest. Like, so the fact that I did this, I really love this stuff. I have both this and the leave-in conditioner, but I really wanted to shout out this stuff. The smell is delectable. I feel like my curls look so hydrated and healthy and I also use it to slick back my buns, so it's a very versatile cream. And again, I wanna reiterate, the scent is delectable. Okay, I will finish really quickly with the home items that I've been loving. Now, I don't have very many of these in front of me to show you guys, so I'm just gonna talk about them briefly. The first thing is my Ninja Creamy. Now, I'll say I haven't used this thing as much as I wanted to just because I've been busy, but when I have used it and the things that I have planned to use it for, I'm obsessed. Now, yeah, I'm not gonna lie that this machine is pretty freaking pricey, you know? <laughs> I consider myself a self-taught home chef and I love experimenting in the kitchen. So making purchases like this in the kitchen are just very typical for me. I've made two different ice creams. I made a dreamsicle ice cream and then a vanilla ice cream for my boyfriend. And then I also made a smoothie bowl in it. The next thing that I'm definitely gonna be doing is making some wildflower honey and lavender vanilla ice cream. I used to eat that flavor as a kid and I've been really, really wanting it. So. I think it's just time I make it. The thing I love about the Ninja Creamy is that it's so freaking fast. Like after putting the ingredients together and letting it freeze in a little container overnight, you pop it on the machine and it's done in like three or so minutes. It's absolutely insane, truly. Um, just absolutely wild. And the only complaint that I heard other people say is that they think it's pretty loud. And I'll say it's no louder 
really than like a blender. This is done so fast, I just don't even worry about it. If you lived in an apartment, it's maybe not something you do late, late at night, but totally fine during the day to me. The next thing that I've really been loving is my Bissell Steam Cleaner. Now this is a game changer if you have pets, especially now that we have a second dog, a puppy. The accidents are just kind of frequent. What can you do? They're young and they just can't hold their bladders as long. This has been a lifesaver because it dries really quickly. It's 30 minutes or less and you can choose between a little quick clean or a deep clean and it's easy to just pop out and put the solution in. You put way more water than the solution that it comes with and the solution itself is not that expensive to get. It's truly just necessary and I think it's very helpful if you're moving out of a place you don't have to rent a steam cleaner. This wasn't so expensive that, you know, it was outlandish to purchase. Okay, I also want to shout out my Sony ZV-1 as one of my current favorites. This is my new vlog camera and I love it instead of my phone. One, obviously because of the quality and then also because of the fact that it has a flip out camera. I always wanted to be able to see myself as I was recording, um, and this just makes it a lot easier for me. It's just putting me more in the vlogging mood. Shout out the Sony ZV-1. And the last thing that I want to talk about is my cast iron flat top. Now this thing I've been using for months, probably like eight months. It was maybe like 35, 40 bucks at Target, and it's literally just a cast iron. I use it to make Philly cheesesteaks. I use it for breakfast. I use it to make grilled cheeses. It's just the most versatile thing ever. I use it to yeah, make steaks and burgers inside. Sometimes I do set off the fire alarm with the smoke that way, but they still cook, they're beautiful. I'm just creating a lot of smoke trying to cook everything inside. That thing is an ultimate favorite of mine and it's perfect for camping too. I definitely will probably load that up into the car the next time that we decide to head out into the wilderness, head out on our kayaks, I don't know. Okay. I think I've been rambling for a good minute. I did have some more things that I wanted to shout out in other categories, but I might make that a part two video. I think the next part will be like books, movies, television shows, stuff like that that I've been loving. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you guys are interested in any of the items that I talked about, I'll definitely try to link as many as I can down below. If you guys try out any of this stuff or you have any of the stuff that I've talked about, let me know down in the comments. Or if you have things that sound similar to what I talked about and you think I should check it out, also leave that down in the comments. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below, yeehaw, in honor of my cowboy boots. But I hope you guys have a great one. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.